no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Almost had you. This is not how to act like Peter McKinnon. This is how to edit like Peter McKinnon. So my name is Mike York. I do animation. I do photography and video. And today I'm going to show you how to edit like Peter McKinnon, how to crush your edits, how to make them look sick. The first thing that he does is he really does a lot of contrast in his work. That's part of his style. It's very moody, very punchy, gritty. And so I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to do that. And uh, let's get started. So let's jump in here. I got Lightroom open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first pull up a photo of mine that I took in Hong Kong. This is a shot that I took way up in the air, up on kind of like this terrace. And if you can see, it's very moody already, but it's also very foggy and misty. And so I'm gonna have to dehaze and do some things like that. You might ha not have to do that with your photo, but I'm gonna have to do it with this one. So just keep that in mind. So first things first, let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's pull up the exposure just a little bit on this photo. Next, you want to bring up the shadows just a little. Depending on your photo, you might want to crush these shadows, but I'm going to pull mine up a little bit first so I can get some more detail in the buildings. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the blacks down a little bit, and I'm going to increase the contrast. And then I'm going to crank up the clarity. Immediately you can see how much of a dramatic change that is and how much more grungy and gritty it looks. You really want to do that with your photo to make it achieve that style of Peter McKinnon's look. Um, right now I'm going to dehaze a little bit. That's going to bring the buildings way in the background, you know, to life and to reveal them more because this was a very misty, foggy day. So I want to bring those out just a little bit. Um, now it's looking a little bit too dark. Um, so I'm going to bring my blacks back up just a little bit. And then over here in the corner, if you look at my photo, it's very dark. It's almost too dark. So um, one trick to eliminate just a part of the photo, you know, or to fix a part of the photo is to use this gradient filter here. So go ahead and go up to this little box, click the gradient filter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the shadows quite a bit and I'm going to bring up the exposure and then I'm going to click and drag out. And if you see that reveals the trees, I want to do that because I want to get some detail back. I don't want to lose it and just completely crush it to where it's all black. Um, and then next thing that's very evident in his, his work is that he's got a lot of vignetting. He's got dark edges and that really brings you into the image. That's something that a lot of photographers use to pull you in. And one way of doing that is to come down to the bottom, scroll all the way down to vignetting and you wanna pull this over to the left. Now don't go too far, you don't wanna just like completely pull it over, but let's go over to about 69, 70, somewhere around there. 67, that looks good. And now you can see we're really getting that moody effect. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the clouds even more moody. So I'm gonna bring the gradient filter again up here on the top. I'm going to reset my settings, which all you need to do is double click the word and it will reset whatever you had previously. So first things first, I'm gonna bring down the exposure. I'm going to pull the clarity down just a little bit. And then I'm also gonna pull down the sharpness just a tad, cause this is kind of like in the background. Um, and I'm gonna click at the top and drag down. And as you can see, it's really affecting the clouds and making them very dark. And that's really creating a cool look. I like that. Um, another thing in his photos is he tries to create kind of one color that's dominant in pops. And so I'm going to try to do that with something probably in here somewhere. So I'm going to zoom in. If you see this like magenta, kind of like a maroon tint, I'm going to try to use that as my pop of color. So first things first, I'm going to go down here to saturation. I'm going to up the reds, crank them up. I'm also going to pull the luminance up on them a little bit. Doesn't seem to be doing much with the image, but we'll see here. And then that looks good. I'm going to bring the oranges up just a little bit. And then we'll go up here at the top. And I'm also going to cool this image down. One of the signature looks for Peter McKinnon is his image is very cool and crisp. 
And that's something that is just a signature look. So if you're trying to achieve that look, this is what you want to do. So I'm going to cool it down, pulling the temperature down quite a bit. Let's see. Let's uh, right about, uh, that's maybe a little, hey, that's too much. It's a little better, a little better, somewhere around there. That looks pretty good. And then I'm also going to use the tint and bring in the purple a little bit so I can get rid of the green. I have like a green hue on this image, which I, ugh, I hate it. It looks disgusting. So I'm going to fix that by pulling the tint up to about 28. And let's see, that's looking pretty good. Um, Image looks pretty nice. It's got some pop. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to use the brush and I'm going to bring some more contrast with all these highlights down here. So I'm going to pull down, reset all my brush, <clears throat> all my brush settings. And then I'm going to bring up the whites. I'm going to bring up the highlights. Okay, here we go. Got the brush. And now I'm just going to brush in this areas that I think need to pop. So like the top of this building, over here, these white buildings, a little bit over here, top of this building. Really make those little sections pop because I want to introduce more contrast in the image. And sometimes you don't want to just like go in there and crank the contrast. You want to do it selectively and the brush is really good at that. Um, so this is looking pretty good. Now I think the only thing that this needs is a little bit of the tonal curve. So we're going to go down in in the tonal curve and we're going to just pull this up just a little bit and then pull it down just a little bit here. It's looking pretty good. Nice. Okay. Now I think this is looking pretty good. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This taught you some tips and tricks, you know, how to achieve that look. Um, if you see the before and after, Look at the difference. This is such a huge difference on this image. This went from just like, meh, you know, to nice. You know, this really made it punch. It really made it crispy. And this is something that Peter McKinnon does. He, it's his signature look. And so if you're trying to get that effect, hopefully these tips and tricks helped you out. So thank you for coming along for the ride. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.